If you want to merge or combine PDF files, I want to show you two different ways. One is online, one is with an app you could download, and it's going to be the most secure and safe way to do this. So Adobe Acrobat Online, this right here, I'll link this below. This is the easiest way to do this. You could do this completely for free. Now, the reason why I'm choosing Adobe Acrobat is Adobe is the company that invented PDFs way back in the day. So it's going to be the best option rather than just using some random website online. Okay, so this link right here, again, the link will be in the description below right from the adobe.com website. I'm going to select files from here. And I usually like to save the files right to my desktop. This works on Mac or on PC. It doesn't matter what type of computer you're on. And you could go ahead and select it like this. You could select all three or as many as you have. Or you could hold the shift if you're on a Mac or control if you're on a PC to select multiple different files like this. And you could press open. It's going to go ahead and upload them here in this online version. And then right over here, if I want to change the order, you could see part two actually needs to move up. I could just drag and drop it. So now it's part one, part two, and part three. So I like to label mine in a way where I know the order they need to be in. If I want to add more, I could press the plus sign and insert a file from over here too and decide where it's going to go. In this case, I don't need to do that. And then I just need to press merge right here. It's going to go ahead and merge it right here. And I could press download from this download link right here. And it downloaded the combined file. Now this is going to download it to your download folder on your computer. This is what it's going to look like. And you could double click to open it from here. And this is three different large PDF files now combined as one PDF file. Now a lot of times that PDF file might be too large or you might need to make finer edits to it. So there is something else if you click the free trial link right here called Adobe Acrobat Pro. So what I showed you was Adobe Acrobat Online, the pro version, you could actually start with a free trial. I'll link this below as well if you wanna try that. I'll show you a couple of interesting things with this one. This is a software I have installed on my computer. Now, a couple of reasons why I really like this one, especially for more secure documents like tax documents, for example. This is a software on my computer. I'm not using a website, even though the Adobe website is pretty secure. I wouldn't trust any other type of PDF combiner or merger with more sensitive documents. But this one, I could go ahead and click right here combine multiple documents, combining files, and even combining multiple different PDFs. So for this one, I'm gonna create a single PDF from multiple files, so that's what I wanna choose. It says add files right here. I'm just gonna select all three like this and add these files here. And over here, I could just go ahead and change the order. So one, two, three is what I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and combine it, but I'll show you some other options that you get with this one now. If you go to the edit option right on top over here, I could go ahead and organize the pages. So this lets me organize all the pages inside of each document if I need to move these around for some reason. Or if I wanna just delete entire pages, I could just delete entire pages like this ending page on the first PDF. Actually, I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So then this becomes the next page. And if I wanna switch any of the orders around, really easy to just grab these and drag and drop it like this. This also has e-signature, makes it really easy to just click one of these signatures down here and drag and drop it into your file. And it makes it really easy to convert anything to other types of documents. So if you wanna change a PDF like this to a Microsoft PowerPoint or Microsoft Word document, you could do that. But most importantly, when I go to file and I export this PDF, I usually wanna compress this down. So they have this option right here, compress a PDF and I'm gonna say yes right over here. And this is gonna go ahead and let me name it. I'll name it combined PDFs and I could go ahead and save it from here. And this is gonna reduce the PDF file size, especially if it's getting too large to email, for example. This should give me a version where it's much easier to email. And here it is saved to my desktop here. And if you look at the file size is 1.8 megabytes. It's even smaller than an individual PDF file that was part of this. So it pretty much reduced the size by half. So if you have an issue like that, Adobe Acrobat Pro is one of the best ways to compress down that PDF. So you could easily email it or even text it to someone. And it's that simple to merge multiple PDF files. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.